In today's video, we're going to take you to Branningham Lake, New York. Walking tight, oh, say the light, and I call you. The northern lights flash Took a photograph on a Paris street Have you ever climbed a tall tree? Asked someone for mercy Gave something away that wasn't free I don't wanna get a vision of you stuck in my head Because I know that you were meant to be wilder Another night of television while you're lying in bed It's slowly gonna be the death of you Okay, so as you all know, we've been touring along, I guess, Interstate 81. We uh, hit the road in Tennessee. Um, if you're following along and watching the, the channel, you'll know that we stopped at Endless Caverns in Virginia, was our last stop. And then we headed on up into PA. We stayed at a uh, one night there, I don't remember, Twin Cove or something along that line in Pine Grove, PA, and then we wandered on into New York. Mm -hmm. um, we hit the Watertown KOA, which is not too far off of 81, if memory serves me right, I'd have to double check that, but I think it is. It's right next to, what was that, Fort? Fort Drum. Fort Drum. Yep. Um, one exit, I guess, away from their base and whatnot. So we stayed at the KO. KOA, Watertown KOA, um, our first night, and wandered into Branningham for dinner because Randy has a favorite sandwich um, when we come in to see family that he has to get at the Pine Tree. The Pine Tree Inn in Branningham Lake. If you get in the area, you have to definitely visit it. Yep, and get the prime rib sandwich. Delicious. Yeah, um, it's a it's a must do, probably two three days while we're in town. Oh yeah, I think I had two or three this trip. At least I think yeah. I'm already jonesing for another one. Um, we popped in to visit family. Uh, we were ordered to vacate the <laughs> KOA we immediately. We in town to visit family, and once um, Randy's cousin Lori heard got wind that we were in town she insisted her and her husband pat insisted that we come stay at their property on the lake so, so we did some mooch stopping yeah we did mooch stop packed up immediately and drove it makes me question the lake um, uh whether or not we need a, a second home on the lake it was lovely we really had a great time um so quiet good times to be had with uh family while we were in town yeah we did a um, couple pontoon boat rides and sunset little cruises. fire we had some s'mores, s'mores. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, it was a good time um we got to you know check in on aunt marilyn and visit with vicky and robbie um it was it was nice to be back in the area yeah it's a beautiful area everybody hasn't yeah. changed in 30 years um, if you're looking Much. for an off the beaten, not touristy place to go, because it is somewhat touristy, I shouldn't say that. We have Airbnb um, if you're interested in a cabin on the lake. Um, beautiful this time of year, weather-wise, it was just gorgeous. So we recommend um, if you're in the area, definitely stop by and check it out. Have you ever walked the high pass, 
If you like today's video, you know what to do. Click subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you in our next video.